Dr. Nelly Mabombo came all the way from Durban, South Africa to practice in Vulcan. The Vulcan and County Attraction Retention Committee had been wooing her to come for over a year. So when she and her family arrived, the committee did its best to ease the culture shock. They had a huge impact. They helped me to find places, go shopping, set up a cell phone. They hosted a huge party for myself and my kids. The committee, along with Alberta Health Services, offers free accommodation for physicians in their first year of practice here. The home is just a two minute drive or a 10 minute walk from the medical clinic. Every new doctor that has come in has got that house rent free for a year and some of them have continued on for a short time after uh, at a rent reduced price until they got a, a place of their own. Vulcan is a town of 1,900 people located midway between Calgary and Lethbridge. The 18-hole golf course attracts visitors from those two cities and some come to retire here. Another 4,200 people live in the surrounding Vulcan County, an area rich with prime farmland and dotted with numerous communities like Arrowwood and Mossley. In 1910, a CPR surveyor who had a fondness for Roman mythology named the town of Vulcan after a Roman god of fire. Today, it's known as the official Star Trek capital of Canada. Vulcan was a fictional planet in the TV series Star Trek. So the town sees that connection as a marketing tool and even convinced the most well-known Vulcan of them all, Leonard Nimoy, or Spock, to come for a visit. Most definitely <laughs> live long and prosper. Dr. Mabombo and her family have come to embrace living here. I really love it because it's a small town. It's practically, you feel like it's a whole community that you live with and you're serving. Dr. Mabombo practices at the new Vulcan Medical Clinic, located inside the Vulcan Community Health Center. Previously, four doctors were crammed into a much smaller space. Members of the Vulcan and County Attraction Retention Committee worked with the local health foundation to push for the building of this new clinic. It was a collaborative effort that also included the town, the County of Vulcan, and Alberta Health Services. The new clinic has space for eight physicians, twice the old clinic. The improvements also included a space for rehabilitation and a venue for community wellness programs. The Vulcan and County Attraction Retention Committee was created when the town was in crisis. About 10 years ago, we were one of those communities that was really struggling. We got down to, you know, one, one and a half doctors. Previously, just the physicians looked after recruitment. They still look after the medical side when it comes to pursuing new physicians, but the committee looks after the lifestyle side. When physicians have been looking, the committee has welcomed them with open arms, taken them on tours of our county, had barbecues. Since they've come on board, we've done a better job, I think, in recruiting and certainly a better job in terms of retaining. Get her. Committee Chair Grant Turner welcomes the opportunity to show visiting physicians the many nearby amenities, including Lake McGregor, a popular spot for wakeboarding, fishing, kayaking, and more. We now look 10 years forward. Uh, we've been extremely successful. We have a full complement of doctors. Now, the goal is to retain them. Through consultation with the Vulcan and Area Attraction Retention Committee, both the town and county started providing a financial subsidy to physicians to reduce clinic operating expenses in both Vulcan and Arrowwood. We want rural health care, and to have rural health care, we're going to put our money where our mouth is and support it. If you can go to the city and, you know, make 20% more, well, you know, for you and your family, you know, you, you have to do it. So we, we tried to even the playing field and it's actually been pretty successful for us. In the past, physicians were spending too many weekends on call. So, the committee arranged for a locum to come one weekend a month on a regular basis. The town and county compensated her for housing and travel expenses. If we don't keep the doctors we have here, if we wear them out and tire them out, they're going to be gone. So she has her, her own family practice in Calgary, but likes to maintain her skills in eMERGE and procedures by coming to Vulcan. And she's absolutely the gold standard of doctors. She's, she's terrific. Katie Waring works in the lab at Vulcan Community Health Centre, but lives in High Prairie. The committee wanted to make it more comfortable for out-of-town health professionals like Katie, who occasionally had to stay overnight in Vulcan. So, with the help of AHS and the Vulcan Health Auxiliary, it provided this furnished basement suite 
where they can stay for free. So for me, it's perfect because if I'm on call, I have a comfortable bed I can sleep in and I have a place I know that I can go and relax. And I know the nurses love it too for like after a shift, big winter storm coming in, they just stay and then they don't have to worry about the roads. So it works out really well. The committee initiated a gratitude wall in the hospital, which provides cards for visitors and patients to say thank you to their health care providers. It's just nice to be appreciated. I don't think we get that enough. It makes a big difference when someone says thank you to you. The committee also worked with the local high school to create a medical course where students are paired with a medical professional and spend time mentoring with them. Give them that first taste of, of working in a hospital setting. That's something that will stay with them throughout their career. The medical staff were amazing. Some of them had to give up 20 to 25 hours to work with these students. They didn't get compensated for it. Congratulations to the Vulcan and County Attraction and Retention Committee, recipients of the 2022 RPAP Rhapsody Community Award. This summer, the committee hosted a free celebration event at the town's new outdoor swimming pool. Health professionals, committee members, and the public were treated to a short program and delicious food at the Lodge Hall. Why has this committee been able to achieve so much? It was the collaboration of so many other people and organizations in town that help us to accomplish those things. Very enjoyable when you're on a committee that everybody wants to be on and everybody is enthusiastic to be there. I found the committee very warm and welcoming, very collaborative. That's why we've been successful is we have great people. We have that common goal, bringing quality people to Vulcan, having them here to support our community, and the ones that are here and have been here to continue to support them so they will stay.